Hello everyone, this is Janice with Cricutology.blogspot.com and today I wanted to show you this little chip card that I made. I'm so happy with it. Look how sparkly it is. Um, I um, got the inspiration from this stamp set, little tiny Studio G stamp set that I got um, from Joann's a few months ago, like in February we got these. It says cute chick and then happy Easter to one of my favorite peeps. And so I just wanted to show you how I did this. Okay, I took the little chick from Create a Critter and I cut it out at three and a half inches. And here it is. And I've already done most of the decorating. I ran the, t the first layer see how it's dimensionalized. I ran it through this Divine Swirl uh, embossing folder and I stamped it with a Peachy Keen Critter Face, the medium size, and added some stickles, the orange peel stickles, and added some blush with some chalk. And then the little boots, um, I'm going to be adding some glossy accents, but I like to do that at the end because I always stick my finger in it. And um, those are also, the boots are also dimensionalized okay so that's how I did the little chick and then I cut the little banner I just cut a strip of paper at about a half of an inch and stamped it with the cute chick stamp and then cut it like a banner and I've been seeing a few videos where people are doing off the page or off the card type thing so I thought that was really cute so I'm gonna be showing you how I did this okay when, what I'm most excited about is this um, Scrap Happy Sheer Glue from the Rubber Cafe. If you go on YouTube and just put the Rubber Cafe, um, you'll see Melissa's video. She does amazing things with this glue. Amazing. I love it. I'm so happy with it. And so what I'm going to do is I've got my little egg. And I didn't give you sizes on this card. Um, what I did was I took this egg from Doodle Charms and I sized it at 15.09 by 5.43 and I welded two of them together to make the card on my gypsy then I cut another one of the eggs by itself without welding it see here at the same size 15 0.09 height and 5.43 width. I cut that extra so that when you see you get this little fold here and that way you'll get the complete egg without that fold mark there. And then I took another one of the same egg and I shrunk it down and that purple layer is oh let's see here where is it it is 15.09 by 5. Point, no, that doesn't seem right. I shrunk it down um, probably, I'm not sure, maybe a quarter of an inch down, or maybe more, maybe about a half of an inch down. Um, and just to create the little shadow around it. I'm sorry I don't have the right measurements. I have all kinds of layers on this card, so it's got a little confusing. But here is what I'm so excited about. I have gotten background stamp happy because of this glue. <laughs> it's what made me want to get some background stamps because I can take all of my... I have tons of 8.5 by 11 paper and plain 12 by 12 paper and um, I'm just going to squirt some of this glue out. This nozzle has not clogged yet. Uh, I don't expect it to because Melissa says it doesn't clog. They designed the nozzle to not clog. And anyway, um, i take some of the glue and we're going to tamp it on here. I'm just going to tap it onto the stamp. So anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, I can make my own backgrounds, whether it be with the glue or with my distress inks or with my Versa, um, Versa mark. Um, there's just, wow, 
the possibilities are endless when you can do your own, you know, letter, you know, how many fonts I have, could do like a whole font background or numbers, and Michaels has those awesome cling stamps, this is one of those cling stamps from Hero Arts, and it just clings to your acrylic mount. And away you go. And they don't take up that much space. So I've been using my 50% coupons on that. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So now we're going to stamp this. I'm going to get a mat here. I'm just going to stamp it down on the paper. And this replaces the need for a glue pad. Even though I never had a glue pad never wanted a glue pad. I'm glad I didn't get one because apparently they don't work. I don't know. That's what I heard. Got hair on here. Okay, so what you want to do, this is very, very, very important. You have to take this now, or I have to take this now, and I needed to put, I need to put it in some warm soapy water. I just have a little basin over here. Just a little Tupperware container and I put warm soapy water in there and then in a minute when I'm done with the video I'm going to um, scrub it with a little scrubber. And because um, Melissa says it will ruin your stamps if you don't do that step. So that is the most important thing. We don't want anybody's stamps to get ruined. Okay. So then, we're going to get a little messy and glittery here. I'm going to take, I'm going to do this one in green this time, just to see how it looks. This is a Stampendous set. This is the uh, Moss Green Ultra Fine. But um, Rubber Cafe also sells glitter. So I'm curious to try some of theirs, because I don't have any yet. Ooh, this is going to be pretty with the green. I love green. It's my favorite color. Makes me happy. Okay, so you just buff it in. She says you buff it in. And, and then we're going to take the excess. Of course, I should have done this on another mat, but I got so excited about trying it. I get excited with glitter. I get all crazy. Like a little kid. Yeah, see all that? <laughs> I should have um, used it. I can use it on another one. I'll just make another one here. Okay. And so that's it. That's it. So now I've got, look at that glittery. I mean, how much would that cost you if you tried to buy a whole piece of paper with that much glitter on it? It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, and so um, that's it. That's all I did. And then I just put all of my little pieces together. And with this one, because it was so much white, I went ahead and inked around the edges of this little white banner with um, spiced marmalade and just a regular sponge, just a regular kitchen sponge. I just, like, just got some there and just went around so it would stand out better on this card because it's so there wasn't much contrast so that's it so now I'm just going to glue all the pieces together and I have two cards for two of my favorite peeps so thanks for watching everyone bye